Welcome back to Blanks No One Asked For, and in today's episode, a few Americans are going to try a variety of This episode K- is nuts. <laughs> KP's nuts. Mm. Uh, so thank you to the very special viewers that made today's episode possible. So shout out to Uncle Phil, Aunt Lou, as well as John and Karen Miller. Uncle Phil, Aunt Karen, mm-hmm. extended Those family tree. Simply could not have done it without you. Throughout today's episode, as we try today's products, we'll be rating them on our very British scale of bloody disgusting, not my cup of tea, UK, okay, lovely, lush, or oh my days. Without further ado, let's do Kicking off today's absolutely nutty episode, uh, KP, the Snack Pack Original Salted Peanuts for On The Go Snacking. Just tear here, I will tear here. No, I think that line is off. <laughs> uh, I think I've mentioned on the show before, I'm not a big fan of peanuts. It just smells great. You feel like you make peanut butter, please. Ooh. Yeah. Love peanut butter. Yeah. I just don't, I'm not crazy about peanuts in general. I, hope I was thinking these were going to be covered in something, like a coated. Oh, this is well, that's original. coming next. Did yeah. I not say original? Hold salt? my horses. That's right. All right. So done. KP, original salted. Little bit nut. I do hate that I'm probably gonna bring average scale down. I'll try and be somewhat. Just be you, bro. Mm -hmm. For those dieting folks, peanuts are a great source of protein. It's a good baseline. Yeah. Uh, Lovely. Yes. Good salt to peanut. <clears throat> Not as good as some peanuts I you hold like in high salt, esteem salt, over here. Um, but it's not bad at all. So I, mean, I'll, I give it a lovely myself. Lovely peanut. Lovely peanut. That what you're going with too, Mark? Yeah. That was a, that, that, that was a good baseline. Yeah, good, lovely peanut. Here comes rhombus, man. Yeah, I'm going to go UK okay. I mean, for what it is, it's okay, but I mean, it's just, it doesn't have a lot of flavor. If it was a pack full of hazelnuts, I would have given it a oh my day. Probably. Yeah. Yeah. Well, well, that's a good impression of it, <laughs> All right, well, you know, with Zach's terrible rating and the three, uh, I can't believe I'm agreeing with the other side of the table. Um, <laughs> First time for everything. The three lovely ratings from us and uh, Mr. Hazelnut Boy with a UK OK. Uh, that brings the overall rating of KP's Original Salted Peanuts to a lovely. lovely. All right, up next we have something that gives me a little more hope. We've got KP, that is a heavy bag of peanuts, good lord. We've got KP's Honey Roasted Peanuts. And uh, so hopefully this has got a lot of coating. Honey roasted goes hand in hand with peanuts, you know. Honey and peanut butter. Ooh, okay. Good. All right. I like the glisten of the honey. Smell good. Smell like the inside of a Lowe's hardware. It actually does. <laughs> I was like, where have I smelled There's them? some uh, sawdust yeah. and <laughs> wood chips on <laughs> each and every bite. This is lumber on about 27. Pine tar. All right. I'd also like to bring attention because I've just now noticed it for the very first time. The grandfather clock that Mark is now wearing on his left wrist. <laughs> Your grandfather clock? That is a huge watch, my <laughs> friend. <laughs> That's what happens when you smell like money, folks. Without further ado, honey roast peanuts. First thing I notice when I bite into it is these have a crunch that our honey roasted peanuts do not here in America do not have. Certain brands do though. Yeah, most of the like the convenience store, yeah. petrol stations do not have this type of crunch. See, I would argue that the nut in this tastes worse than the actual flavor. The nut almost tastes like low some improvement. <laughs> 
I just the, the, the peanut in that does not taste as good. Um, See, I don't really know that I taste the peanut at all. I agree. What I agree with what like? just Taylor just said. It tastes artificial almost. Um, it tastes like they got set. They got sat in the warehouse because they were they needed to be coated and they sat there a little bit too long. They got stale, you know. They just sat in the back by where they cut the sawdust, you know. They cut the wood and they uh, measured lumber. That's still lovely, but that's about as far as it can go. Yeah. I'm also gonna bump my rating up to a lovely. <clears throat> These are are just a, a tie with the the first one. So there's good parts about same. this. There's good parts about that. Exactly. Yeah. Uh, also lovely. Perfect that description. Perfect. Perfect. Yeah. Perfect. Thank you. Wow. I feel honored. <laughs> you should. The presence of Most of the time, Taylor wants to beat me over the head with a hammer, but you know, this I mean, time, I, still do. I feel like he kissed me on the too. cheek. I didn't beat you on the head. <laughs> we should start a support group for that, you know? Yeah, you two could be the leaders. And Mark, with his terrible ratings, is getting close. Oh, well, you're resounding. Oh, did Mark say lovely? Yeah, I said lovely too. Yeah. He whispered it. So. All right. So across the board, unanimous this time, we have four lovelies, which means the overall unanimous rating for the KP's Honey Roasted Peanuts is lovely. lovely. Next up on the nut category, we have the KP's Snack Pack Dry Roasted Peanuts. Age old question, what is dry roasted and what is salted? Especially if these have salt on them. Dry roasted. Dry roasted. I've been dreaming of a dry roasting. I don't know how I feel about this one. Yeah. Not, hey. not a big fan of the smell. <clears throat> dry roasted panots. What is it? Own it. Dry roasted with what? There's something going on there. Meat? Mm hmm. It tastes like meat. Bacon. Mm -hmm. Bacon? Yeah. Smoke flavor. Yeah, yeah. smoke. We're getting a smoky flavor. Yeah, that's, that's what it is. Now, Ooh. our dry roasted peanuts are not nearly okay, an aftertaste. flavored like those. Yeah. Good God. Yeah. It tastes like I. Have. You ever tasted. You ever been by a bonfire and you smell the wood as it's charring to the end and you get mm -hmm. now stuck in your taste? Yeah. I'm back down in the UK. Okay. I'm with you on that, buddy. There's some good in this. It's just not enough to... Uh, yeah. Definitely not better than the other. Nah. Too little bit. Yeah. Nah. I'd agree with that. Yeah. Because there's something that looks there's lingering. There's good parts of that. It's just not good. Yeah. And it's worse than the other two, like you said. Mm -hmm. The lingering aftertaste is not what's I think I'm going to He likes these. <laughs> I'm going to the UK, okay. You a king, you a king. Y'all are what? Okay, okay, okay. All three All three UK, okay. okay. It just feels so lush. Uh, so there's something I do like about these that you know, each, each and every individual one of these I've liked in a certain way, and this pack continues to do the exact same thing. There's something in this pack, the taste that I like about it. So I'm sticking with my lovely. All these packs have been lovely. This one is lovely also, so I give it a lovely. Ladies and gentlemen, it is not very often that Josh outranks the three of us consecutively, yeah. but it is very often that Josh is wrong. <laughs> <laughs> But with this pack here of KP's uh, All right, well, dry so, roasted peanuts. So with Josh's uh, lovely and then his negative one multiplier, <laughs> uh, brings his overall rating down to UK OK and four UK OKs across the board. <laughs> four UK OKs and one lovely. I guess this uh, KP's dry roasted peanuts is a average score of UK OK. Four UK OKs and one lovely. Where's the other guy? All right, next on this nutty episode is KP Flavor Cravers. Crunchy, coated, katsu curry. That was my name in high school, Flavor Craver. This is what I'm looking for. I'm interested. Coated nuts did very well. We like Nobby's nuts. Yeah, Ooh. Nobby's. Oh, this is what I've been oh, looking for the entire out. time. Right. Like yeah. chickpea. Oh, gosh. I like chickpea. A little heavy-handed on the nuts. Flavor. You like hummus? Yeah, I would smell them. 
I like hummus on uh-huh. chips. Um, not so much. Never had home. chocolate hummus. I've never had chocolate. Delicious. Hummus. I've had like give them a soft little. bread yeah. dipping. Okay. I got no, a good smell to it. Smells yet, like so. curry ramen noodles. All right, yeah. curry nuts. All right, here we go. Not stiff. Let's go. Let's go. Wow. <laughs> what a crunch. What a yeah. coating. Now, I haven't tasted a nut yet. That's my problem. And I'm not complaining. Nope. See, no. Mm. Just a warning. Snacks can be enjoyed as a part of a balanced diet and healthy lifestyle, including regular exercise. Mm-hmm. There's more of a spot on curry plate. I'm going in for seconds. Going in for seconds. Check your bingo. I'm going on my days. I'm with you, Mark. On oh, my days. That is. It's got flavor. It's got crunch. It has everything that I don't like about peanuts. Why would you eat peanuts? Yeah. <laughs> I don't. I don't. It's got everything you don't like about peanuts, but you give it oh my days. Yeah. It's the reason everything I don't. Everything about that statement makes no sense to my brain. It has everything. <laughs> for once. It has everything in it that saves it from being a peanut. The coating. The flavor. The flavor. I don't like the just plain peanuts. It's, if it's I like, told you that had no peanuts in it. Perfect. Or it. Mm. Ah, uh, yeah, I can't, I I can't explain it. I disagree. All right, Joshua? <clears throat> Again, I mean, this thing, each and every individual bag has been good in a certain way. This one is good. I don't know that I love it as much as I've loved the rest of them. But I still give it a lovely because it's still a good coated peanut. As- lovely. A uh, YouTuber that I watch quite frequently. Uh, lovely, still good rating. <laughs> um, for everything that is, there's no peanuts there. I, I taste they no took peanuts. The smallest peanuts they can find and coated it in the most generic coating. I'm not saying generic. It's a good flavor. I want more peanuts. Uh, so for that, I also go lovely. So where I come from with the peanut review, I know this is not a good analogy, but I like butter. I love when you use butter in things, when you put butter on things. Okay. I'm never going to eat plain butter. I like peanuts. I love peanuts and candy bars. I love peanut butter. I love peanut flavored things. I'm never going to have the urge to take a peanut and just eat it. It's just... There's, uh, I mean, I can see why you say that. There's no peanut in that. Which is why I like it, I guess. Uh, which is ridiculous. <laughs> That's crazy. So, I guess with the two on my days and two lovelies, it will bring the overall score down to a lush. Uh, All right. Uh, next on the docket, my own sins. Uh, KP Flavor Cravers with a U. Crunchy coated aromatic Thai chili flavor peanuts. Mm. I think everything on that is agreeable up until the peanut part. <laughs> um, it should be called like snacks. So there's, there's no peanut here. But. All right. Can we, can we run a... Uh, Experiment. What's your experiment? Would you like to crack open one of these and see that there is in fact a peanut inside? Mm. Even if I see there's one, it's still not going to be enough. <laughs> but yeah, sure. Aromatic yeah. high oh, chili. Shoot. That's a peanut in there. And it's a decent size. That's the that's, same size that's peanut that's not, over there that's on the that's, other that's, one. That's not. It's not. Would you say that's the same size peanut? Uh, I never. Pull, pull I a peanut cracked, out of the pack. Crack one open and see. Random nut not challenge. Even. Not even. It's not even close. Yeah. That is a huge nut compared to the <laughs> other one. I'll Taylor it. knows I'll what huge nuts I, look I, like. I know Trust what nuts me. look like. <laughs> Alright, Thai sweet a chili. Now see, now I point of exercise. I just ate those together, the coating with the smaller nut and the regular nut. That is delicious. There needs to be more peanut in it. Hmm. I don't think I like the flavor of this one as good as the last one. Yeah. Aromatic. 
Still good. Yeah, that works. See? But I'm gonna give it a look. I feel like that one does the peanut better. I, I can taste peanut in it. I'll also go a lot. Maybe I got a weird bag. Um, it's not knobbies. Oh, it's lush. I just gotta get heat to it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I like it because there's more, I feel like there's more nut taste in it. I mean, I don't know what to say. I don't know what to say on those, really. Help. I, I, I mean, all these have been great in their own way, and they're continuing the same thing. Um, they're lovely. I think so, five for five. <laughs> that might be a record for you. Five consecutive, what was the exact same answer. Yeah. Other than UK. Okay. I mean, I would go to the store, and I would buy each one of these if I was craving something. That's a fair, so, that's a fair analogy. <clears throat> None of them will stand out. None of them so stand them. out like, oh my days, but all of them are good in their own way. That's so, a fair analogy. It's kind of like us. If I'm craving something one day, I might get I those. I stand out all of them. <laughs> but if I want something spicy or I and want Mark's something hot, hot, hot whatever. Hot. I get hotter every week, so. <laughs> You're so hot. I can barely You're sit next to you. You're Thai chili, huh? <laughs> Two L's with two chili peppers. So, uh, with three losses, uh, Josh's 97th consecutive lovely uh, with his negative one multiplier. <laughs> uh, that breaks the overall rating of the aromatic Thai chili coated flavor cravers, KP style, to a lush. Up next, we have the bonus round for today's episode. <laughs> to play the game. The oddball of the bunch. It is still KP, but it is not KP's nuts. These are KP mini chips, real potato sticks, beef Will we flavored. get another one of them? Joshua. <clears throat> All right, beef flavored real, real potato, potato chips. The more taste tests that we do, the more I realize that there's a lot of companies out there doing the exact same flavor. Yep. Makes you wonder, right? <laughs> Probably all made the same factory. If there's a message there, <laughs> there is a dream. Pursue your dreams and stick with it. Chances are you're probably doing it better than somebody else. And you damn sure are doing it better than Seabrook. <laughs> There is some type of taste that's in those that is not good to me, and for that it ranks not my bag of crisps. Is there anything that you've had in the U.S. that has this flavor profile? The beef flavor that we continue to see no. over and over in the U.K. Um, yeah, if I took my ramen noodle packet out of my Thing and didn't eat valid. the noodles, just the packet of beef flavor. Yeah, yeah, that is valid. Yep. That's about it. Uh -oh. It's not. It's like drinking liquid smoke, and I don't, I don't get it. I don't know who told you this was okay. Who told you? Who told you? you? Told you in a hole that that was. <laughs> <laughs> this this ain't good, man. Uh, UK okay. It's not the terrible. It's not the worst thing I've had beef flavor, but it's not. By far, it's. The worst thing we've had on this episode. I agree. To me. Yeah, I agree. Oh, for sure. I agree. So, thank you. UK okay. UK okay. I am also going to go UK okay, and oddly enough, I'd eat the original roasted peanut before I would eat that again. I'd rather crunch I'm up sorry, my bag what? of ramen noodles and pour the bigger. seasoning on there and eat it. This tastes like you. Without cooking. This tastes like you put a pot roast in a crock pot for eight hours and then you lick the bottom of the crock pot after you <laughs> it. So valid. Uh, so three UK OKs, one not my cup of tea, brings the overall rating to the beef flavored potato sticks to UK, UK OK. OK. What other KP flavored products are out there that we did not try? Send me some more Nobby's nuts, man. They were good. Nobby's doing it right. KP's doing pretty good too. I doubt it. Not bad. Lovely in my Let us know in the comment opinion. section <laughs> what you'd like to see us try next from KP. But all that leaves us to say is this has been Blaine. Smash the subscribe button.
and turn your notifications on. We are live every Tuesday, 6 p.m. British somersault time. <laughs> somersault. And <laughs> certainly no one asked for that. But wait, there's more. Still got that itch for more blanks no one asked for? Click that bottom left video down there to see the content that YouTube thinks would be the best for you.